lovely Pisces welcome to your reading and happy 2022 and I hope that all of you are doing amazing today we're going to do a reading for you guys and this is going to be an energy reading for you and your loved one and see what is going on um, what I'm seeing for you guys here is that I feel that um, for you Pisces this is going to be a very spiritual month this is going to be a month where you are going to be solely uh, concentrated on yourself and not so much on the person that is on your mind and remember that the connections that I talk about usually have that deep soul connection so it could be a twin fame it could be soulmate whoever that's on your mind right now um, I feel that when it comes to this connection for a lot of you guys you are you decided that this is the time when you need to pull yourself a little bit back maybe for some of you guys you have released the connection you have released your attachment to the results of the connection of when or how you guys are going to come into union or reunion so there's a lot of purging a lot of uh, cleansing that has happened for you uh, Pisces and if not I'm saying that this is going to be um, a season for it which is a season of Capricorn I feel like there is going to be a lot of that happening now uh, remember that Capricorn has that also energy of concentrating on your work so I feel like for a lot of you guys you are very much concentrated on your career or uh, where your ambitious is taking you now you might be wondering what it has to do with your person now <clears throat> I feel that this person has been pushing you maybe towards self-discovery maybe towards um, a little bit of a healthy self-isolation perhaps to understand yourself and to see what is it that you exactly want from your life and also from the connection itself so I feel that um, you know you have been going through a lot of um, ups and downs love and hate um, war and peace with this person and now this is the time when you know your boat is going towards like calmer days but by calmer days I don't mean that this connection is going to be less passionate or less powerful uh, but I feel that um, you know that ups that up, up and down side of the relationship is getting a little bit calmer in order to take you to your destination <clears throat> or in order to take you further in your journey all right because remember that uh, love is not a destination it's a journey it's a and especially if you are on a twin film journey it's a very self-discovery uh journey or self um you gonna learn a lot about yourself okay so this is your energy that i'm seeing very much like pulled back now your person energy is kind of the same as you so i'm saying that they also could have been a little bit pulled back not that they want to because i'm saying that they are really really like very much um dying to see you or they have this desire to be with you but I see that they are seeing that you are a little bit kind of um, getting a little bit of a distance and they are doing the same thing not because they want to but I feel like they are uh, forced to by the universe in a way to also work on themselves so there is a lot of work um, spiritual work that I'm seeing both of you are currently undertaking and um, don't be discouraged if you are not seeing the results of your hard work right Right now because this is kind of like an evolution right like you are going through that evolution like slowly but surely getting there all right so let's uh, take a look at um, your energies uh, basically like this is going to be energetically and then I'm also gonna take a look at it a little bit from a material or 3d perspective as well and see what's going on for you my lovely Pisces okay let's see energetically what is going on for my lovely Pisces and their divine counterpart what is the spirit guide uh, wants to tell you we have healing angel and it says peace and um, uh, we have number 11 here so you might you guys might be seeing that number like 11 11 all right so some of you guys could be healers um, I'm seeing a lot of healers here okay and uh, we also have um, the poetics of light creation this is beautiful this is the energy of the union all right some of you guys maybe are into poetry okay oh my goodness a lot of um cards we have archangel michael eternal love and protection this is beautiful and uh, the name michael is also coming up for some of you guys and uh, we also have the orient gate service as energy of the union we also have a magical new beginning in, in night on earth as energy of the union okay so this is beautiful and let's take a look and see 
what is happening for you my lovely Pisces now first of all I feel that um, you are on a healing stage of your journey and I feel like you have healed a lot in yourself although this um, you know still is a continuation I feel like it's not like you're stopping um, you know the process of healing is not something that we stop doing in our lifetime it's something that we keep working on it but I feel like you have done majority of the work and now what is happening here is that I feel like you guys are a able to now offer that healing to other people and also to your person perhaps I feel like whether you are aware of it or not you bring a lot of um, healing to the life of your person by um, by concentrating actually on yourself as opposed to on them so um, I feel like you know maybe in the beginning you thought that you need to heal them you need to save them you need to do something but um, now what you are realizing is something quite profound, which means that instead of healing them, I, you, I see that you have started to heal yourself internally. And by doing that, you're also finding peace within you, which is quite um, something that um, maybe in the past was not that achievable or you thought that you cannot achieve that like you know no matter how much you've been trying maybe you couldn't reach that peace that inner peace okay so this is beautiful and I feel like for a, a lot of you guys um, you're doing some kind of a service to humanity maybe you're doing maybe you guys are healers maybe you guys are whatever that you're doing I feel like it has something to do with healing okay so a lot of healers that I'm seeing a lot of um, healing angels you know that's what spirit is calling you guys and um um for some of you guys yeah you know there are some names that are coming to me um Leela Leila I don't know this name is also coming Michael Michelle all right there are some names and remember that these are general readings so if there are names or if there are something specific specific that is coming um, don't get discouraged it's okay if it's not related to you because um, it could be that um, there are some energies that are coming to me and it needs to be addressed to a specific person all right so um, what is going on with your person's energy is really beautiful and really really powerful because we have the Archangel Michael and what it says here is that eternal love and protection so I feel like your person has been trying to protect you because they know that the love that they have for you is eternal love they just know that or if they didn't know I feel like this is the time that they are realizing something quite powerful about this love um, I feel like in a way maybe even unconsciously um, they haven't been uh, wanting to uh, be close to you because they thought that they need to protect you from something that was happening inside them whenever Archangel Michael shows up you know there's always protection and with your person I feel that um, instead of coming towards you and feeling that maybe they're gonna hurt you they thought that they should um, shield you against some of the darkness that they have been going through and Archangel Michael always shows up also you know when someone needs clarity when someone needs to cut through and I feel like they have been cutting through a lot of darkness getting out of that successfully and having the protection of Archangel Michael so if you have been worrying about them um, even like physically I feel like you know uh, or even like worrying about people around them um, Archangel Michael is here to tell you guys that this person is safe and no one and nothing can harm them so maybe you've been worrying about them I don't know getting sick because remember that um, right now the world is going through a lot of turbulence and a lot of chaos you know with the virus and this and that and a lot of um, issues that the world is right now uh, facing spirit wants to tell you that you know your person is divinely protected and under the protection of Archangel Michael all right and they know that this is eternal love and you know and also you know Archangel Michael um, wants to confirm that for you guys that yes this is an eternal love and it's not gonna go anywhere so do not worry about them if you've been kind of like um maybe not worrying but kind of like you know sending them healing thinking that maybe you know what is going to happen to them where they are how they have been doing all right so this is energetically you know what is going on uh with your person so if you guys they have like deep beautiful blue eyes and some of them they have like facial hair there's a lot of like blue color which talks about also 
uh, communication. So I feel like their throat chakra could also be like opening up. Archangel Michael is also, he's associated with um, amethyst, with the crystal amethyst as well. So it could be that um, also the third eye chakra, their throat chakra, and also the solar plexus chakra. These are the chakras that I'm seeing opening up for them. Okay, and for you guys, I'm seeing... Um, I feel like for you guys, it has to do, like, I see um, a lot of pink color and I see that unconditional love that you have for them, like regardless of where they are in their journey, I feel like you've been seen, sending them a lot of healings, okay? Um, some of you guys, I'm seeing that you could have earth in your chart as well, all right? This is what I see. And your person could also be an air sign, all right? Air signs are being showed up. That's what I'm seeing as well. Now, the energy of the union for you guys is... Um, really beautiful because i feel like you two together create this poetry it's like a dance it's like a poetry i feel like there is that and that's why it says the poetics of light because there is like a something um is going to be created with both of your energies you know i feel like you two yes separately are absolutely beautiful um souls but then together you two are going to be creating a you know a poetry and this is like the dance of the twin flames this is like the dance of um or soulmates whatever you want to believe that but i feel like this is like the dance of you know the opposite the dance of the yin and yang and um there's also you know going to be a a gate a spiritual gate opening for the both of you and this is um somehow from uh, other star systems especially Orion gate is being opened up at this time for the both of you um, to offer your services to humanity so I feel that um, you know 2022 is going to be a very important year for twin flames or divine counterparts and remember when I'm saying twin flames it doesn't have to be that terminology specifically it could be that divine counterparts it could be soulmate whatever that you really your belief system is it doesn't really matter so I feel like it's a time of service to humanity via both of you joining your hands together, all right? So, uh, and I feel like you two are going to be meeting up at night time, all right? There is going to be a new beginning. There's going to be something extremely magical when you two meet again or when you two meet for the first time for those of you that maybe you haven't met this person. So, I know that for a lot of you guys, maybe you haven't met your twin fame or soulmate. So, this is the time that Spirit is saying 2022 is going to be a time of reunion or union for love it's a year of love it's a year of venus so um life paths number eight is also being show, showed up life path number seven and also um 33 um you guys might be seeing 11 11 33 you might be seeing all of these and 33 of course is an ascended master number so i feel like in some ways there is going to be a lot of assistance from ascended masters for you guys in your journey and this is beautiful because they're talking about star seeds as well and says a night on earth magical new beginning so there is going to be a really really beautiful night that i'm saying i feel like it's going to be at night time when you two are going to be meeting again all right and it's going to be a very magical one um and why does it say a night on earth because this is the meeting of um star seeds okay you two were meant to meet at this certain time at this certain um hour um uh, you know here on earth okay so i feel like it has been something that both of you planned even before coming here all right two star seed energies that i'm seeing all right so beautiful and um let's continue your reading so the orion gate is opening up for you guys and you guys can take a look at the orion um, star system if you're not familiar with that um i believe that i did um a star seed um reading so you can watch that to see if that helps um to see what star system maybe you belong to for those of you guys that you believe that you are star seeds and for those of you that you don't still is okay um that's fine i feel like it has to do with something that has to do with service to humanity for the both of you that you two are going to be undertaking at this time all right okay my loves um yeah and I, and as i said there is a lot of like names that are coming and angelica also is uh, the name that is coming angie angelica um 
all right we have the six of wands okay this is on your person's end we also have the hermit okay on their end could be a virgo and we have the lovers oh my god this card shows up like in almost like a lot of readings and we also have archangel um raziel i believe on your end and what else we also have the hangman all right on your person's end and we have the star aquarius it could be it could be that you have that in your chart yeah there are a lot of aquarius energy um aquarius energy has been showing up really like strongly these days okay we also have the eight of cups okay for you guys all right so let me get one more card maybe oh my goodness all right so get more cards okay so what do we have we have Lao Tzu and Kuan Yin as energy of the union and we also have Palace Athena and this is the eight of swords okay and I feel like this is on your end actually so maybe I'll get one more card for your person oh my goodness I don't want to get too many <coughs> okay we got it we have the five of pentacles all right so what is going on here let's see just a second all right so what else is happening here is that i feel that for uh pisces you walked away from this love you walked away um not from them like specifically like if they're your twin fame or soulmate i feel like you walked away from uh, maybe uh, the way that you've been um, kind of like the attachment towards the connection the way that you wanted it to happen the way that you felt towards them so right now I feel like you have come into another kind of understanding of the connection this is a higher understanding or this is a higher level of how this connection is tied to you as opposed to kind of like um perhaps chasing them or trying to impress them or trying to be someone that they want to be with okay I feel like you walked away from all of that in order to search for something more meaningful and I feel like they push you towards that maybe you thought like they are pushing you away from themselves like from them but I feel like in a way they've been uh, pushing you towards your true self to finding out who you truly are and what you really want and I feel like it has something to do with your uh, relationships or with your emotions as well because remember that the eight of cups are always about emotions and I feel like you're leaving behind a lot of old feelings that you had towards um, them and also maybe even towards life okay you're moving towards some kind of a better understanding or a higher understanding of um, your spiritual journey with them all right because um look at this uh, look at this person is standing in front of these um mountains and they are in the beginning of the journey like they have left all of these kind of like unwanted things like unwanted feelings unwanted maybe even um you know feelings attached towards people and especially to them maybe you had a lot of like um uh feelings that um you needed to experience but now you can move away from it in order to get a better understanding all right so i feel like you're moving towards this mountain of um higher level of your spiritual journey and there is you know there i feel like you are going to be encountering more um joy more happiness look at the dolphins you know the, and there are two dolphins so i'm seeing like past lives as well i feel like for a lot of you guys um uh, there is going to be a lot of gifts a lot of memories also coming back to you but these are like joyful memories so why is that is because I feel like you have healed a lot with a star I feel like you have been doing a lot of healings on yourself and um, you are overall feeling like more and more positive right now this is going to be a very very positive um, stage of your life okay so all of these healings that you have done don't think that it went down the drain and it's so hard now to get up there but you know i feel like you are in a very blessed kind of a uh, life path right now or a path in your journey okay you have healed a lot and i feel like
like for some of you guys, um, if you had physical issues, I feel like there is a lot of healing that maybe you've done on yourself, but this is energetically, I feel like, or maybe even like dietary too, maybe for some of you guys, you've been taking care of your body, your soul, your mind, a lot of, lot of like positive, positive energies here that I see. Number 17, number eight, again, life paths number eight are being showed up and also seven. Okay, so for some of you guys that you have Aquarius in your chart, I feel like you're feeling that uh, optimism. You're feeling that, you know, um, you are the star of your own destiny. In a way, I feel like you're starting to believe in yourself, to believe in your journey, and overall feeling very, like, grateful. You know, feeling, like, grateful. This is what I'm saying. And finding peace. Um, yeah, finding peace within yourself. We also have the Eight of Swords for you guys. And um, what I'm also seeing here is that there's something that, you know, is being kind of uh, whispered to you. You know, something like a, like a whisper of like a wind or something that is coming is like a divine uh, maybe direction, divine guidance. And I feel like you're going to be, um, and it's going not going to be like a very like screaming to you. I feel like it's going to be like a, um, like a breeze. All right. Like you're going to be hearing it like, okay, go here, do this, you know, um, I don't know, like change your, uh, location, you know, like go on a trip, whatever it is. I feel like it's like a gentle, like kind of a, a breeze that is coming for you. And for some of you guys, I'm also saying that you are going to get access to a lot of like knowledge that you had from previous lifetimes. Like you are touching the almost like a philosopher's stone. You know, you have, you are finding something very, very meaningful within your journey right now, which is quite um, powerful. I feel like this is the first time that you are, might be feeling like, oh my God, I'm so like, um, happy about it. I'm so like, um, you might be feeling like really, really positive right now. Uh, to the point that you might be feeling like, oh my God, is that like, is it really me going through this? And it could be a little bit unbelievable what you are like right now discovering about yourself, which is absolutely beautiful on your person's end. It's, it's really, uh, it's really beautiful too, because I feel like they also have been going inward, maybe in a different way than you. But in any case, I feel like they have been looking themselves uh, in the mirror and finding you, you know, I feel like this is for majority of you that you're watching a twin flame journey. Like this is, um, when they look at themselves right now, they're seeing their true self. So this is the energy of the hermit and a Virgo energy coming along very, very strongly. And I feel like they've been, um, also finding their true self via you. All right. The way that they have been finding themselves is that perhaps, you know, via this, um, there's a lot of flame here. So I feel like it's almost like as if you brought a lot of um, self-realization, a lot of um, freedom as well. I feel like you brought freedom in their life and also self-realization. And um, the other thing is um, bringing that passion, reigniting passion within their hearts with a um, with a flame. I feel like it has also something to do with the flame. And it's interesting because... Um, I feel like they're also finding their uh, something like that they are really passionate about. It could be their life purpose, something that has to do the way that they make money, they make bread, you know, like being bread on the table. It's like for them, it's been different. And now they're going to be using their gifts in order to like bring that. So this is an extremely powerful energy. And this is the return. And of course, a lot of these cards have that. But I feel like this is like them returning back to themselves. All right. And also back to you because you two are like very like mirror souls. Okay. Now also, um, they are, um, achieving, um, a lot in their life. I feel like this person is becoming really, really successful in whatever that they are doing in the past. I feel like they had a lot of financial difficulties. All right. Um, I feel like if you are a divine masculine Pisces watching this, it could be that your person, uh, could have been, um, I don't know, 
uh, pregnant with a child, maybe they have been um, from previous relationships, maybe they have been experiencing poverty. So whatever that they have been experiencing, I feel like it's behind them and they are experiencing that victory. Okay, so, uh, th you know, there is uh, that moment of like, um, extreme feeling of success and people around them are like you know admiring them but not knowing that what they have been going through a lot of inner work a lot of like inner journey in order to get to the six of wands okay so their success is something that is definitely you know they deserve it all right and with that i feel like it's going to bring them a lot of also abundance okay bringing bread on the table basically hold on a second <coughs> Um, now, um, they also have the hangman. So I feel like your person has been going, um, through the process of awakening and with the snake, I'm seeing like there is that Kundalini awakening. Okay. Now this awakening has not happened to them. Like just like, you know, quickly, I feel like it has been a process. So that's why everything has happened pretty slowly because I feel like for them, you know right now this is how they are this is the state of like you know their consciousness is that they are awakened and they are looking at the world from a really really different perspective like everything looks different to them um i feel like they are looking at themselves and thinking oh my god what was i thinking before like why i couldn't see this connection the way that it is why i couldn't see myself this way and that way but as you pisces maybe you've been telling them uh, since the beginning that you know what you see in them that they couldn't see in themselves all right now they can see that it's absolutely powerful actually because um uh, this um, awakening that's happening to them and it is a kundalini awakening um, happening for your person which are which is going to you know end a lot of financial issues that they've been having all right so that's beautiful um the energy of the union, as I said, I feel that there is going to be a gateway opening up for you guys, especially the Orient's gateway. And we have the Lao Tzu and Kuan Yin. And I believe that they also been um, twin flames. And I also believe that they've been doing some kind of a service to humanity. As you guys know, Kuan Yin, she is the goddess of compassion, of kindness, of love. And... Um, and Lao Tzu, he you look at the, look at the Yin Yang. I believe that he was also a you know an ascended master. He thought a lot of um, if you guys um, have been listening to or know about Wayne Dyer, um, God bless him because he passed away and he was one of the greatest teachers that I ever known. Um, he talked a lot about Lao Tzu. Okay, so I feel like this is you to. Um, bringing the service to humanity offering some kind of a service together to humanity all right this is what spirit is showing it's like pearls of wisdom pearls of kindness pearls of compassion and it's bringing also a lot of prosperity for the both of you so imagine that you guys are now working separately but you two together are going to be doing some kind of a service that spirit is showing um i mean there is a bowl here there's a white bowl here and i feel like there is prosperity and also there's taurus energy for some of you guys also coming along as well yeah there is also taurus energy um but there is that you know service okay both of them these ascended masters are you know here to assist you guys on your uh, mission this is going to be a mission based kind of a relationship that you have and we have the orient gate service number 33 so if you've been wondering what kind of ascended masters there is um Kuan Yin and um, Lao Tzu okay and uh, we also have the lovers which is really really beautiful and of course this card keeps showing up because I keep talking about 2022 and the year of the lovers the year of Gemini of course your person could be you know a Gemini but I feel like you two are making the choice to be together making the choice to join your hands together in order to bring something that is very powerful than both of you all right so absolutely beautiful i feel like this this is like the energy of the lovers bringing that energy of unconditional love to the world but i also feel like this love is 
full of passion, full of fire. So if you think that, you know, it has been, um, you know, like the light is gone or there's not too much passion, think again, because I feel like with the red color, you two are going to be embracing each other in such a passionate way, which is going to bring a lot of changes to the world. Now, how is going to bring that, you know, change? It depends on each of you on your soul journey, but I feel like it's something quite powerful that maybe, um, that maybe spirit is trying to whisper it to you these days. Like you are hearing it, you are feeling it, you might be even seeing it. All right. So absolutely beautiful. Like I feel like both of you are going through this journey and maybe not even knowing that this is about to happen. All right. Because, um, you know, they are awakened they, or they are going through that process of awakening. And with you, I feel like you are also kind of like in the beginning of this and you two are going to be joining for this um, very important mission that you have together. Very, very beautiful card, actually. Um, I feel like not only, um, yeah, I mean, there are, there is a lot of um, passion, a lot of kissing, a lot of like touching, a lot of like intimacy with them, which I feel like also is going to bring a lot of that, um, I don't know, it's almost like I could say like the second awakening or re-awakening happening here. All right, very, very beautiful. Okay, guys, so I think that this is um, what I'm seeing for you guys. I hope that um, it was helpful. I'm going to give you guys some messages from the cards that I did. I channeled myself and uh, see what they want to tell you. I'm also going to give you guys charms, so don't go away before you get your charms. I know that you guys love that. So there's also going to be an extended version of this reading available on my membership site this week. So um, if you are joining, then I will see you guys on the other side as well. All right, let's see what does this person wants to tell you. Spirit, please tell us what does this person wants to tell Pisces. All right. So let's see. It says addiction on healthy patterns. I've been suppressing my feelings by drinking alcohol and obsessive behavior that I'm not quite that I'm not quite um, aware of it, or maybe I'm not quite um, proud of it. Maybe I've been staying away from you, so this won't affect you. I told you guys I've been um, trying to stay away from you guys. I knew you would be concerned about my health. I've been ignoring my health, but I want you to know that I now see these unhealthy patterns and I'm working it to heal myself to work on it to heal myself thank you for being patient with me as I'm going through this healing process I love you always so this is what they want to tell you guys so beautiful um you know I feel like you guys are you know on the right path even though you might think you are not but you really are actually let me get you guys another card as well <clears throat> I don't know why I want to also give you guys some divine doors messages see what door you know in relation to this connection is opening up for you guys and this is what i'm getting this is beautiful i mean look at that it's like there is um there is like a sunrise or sunset there is like a beautiful sun coming out of all of these like looks like dark let's see what it says sunset it says time here turns to release and unfurl old cores of pain fade and the sun's light burns it's talking about leaving all of these painful experiences behind and moving towards the light this is so beautiful guys this is extremely beautiful all right so maybe you guys love sunset yeah um you guys love sunset and i feel like when you guys are gonna meet it's going to be kind of like when it's there's sunset when the sun's setting kind of like around getting you know at night like i don't know this is the timing that i'm seeing for you guys <clears throat> all right so now let's get to your uh favorite parts you guys love the charms um Okay, my lovely Pisces, let's see what is in store for you guys when it comes to the charms, all right, let me get you guys some, um, actually some countries as well and see if there is um, any confirmation for some of you guys, all right, 
Okay, and um, <clears throat> let's get that and then see what else is coming. Well, we have New York, we have Rotterdam, we have cruise liner. I don't know, maybe for some of you guys, you met on a cruise or maybe there's something relation to the cruise or ship. I'm in a dark place now and healing deep wounds inside of me. All right, so let's say one is say we also have summer is the timing for some of you guys it says i felt guilty telling you i hurt you i'm sorry letter b 11 11 i have feelings for you okay i, I said that and um all right i think this is uh for this one we have holland all right we have okay we have uh, india <clears throat> canada london all right italy okay so maybe this person is living like a uh, long distance from you we also have paris um we also have uh, gemini oh my goodness gemini you are in all of these readings and such bringing such a beautiful energy of 2022 <laughs> with you so yes there's a confirmation for gemini for some of you guys we also have the uh, sunflower which tells me that there is a lot of lot of positive energies coming it's like you know that energy of that sun you know the sunset it's like um, all things are being released and then really new and positive things are coming all right really really positive energy is coming for you guys and um we also have Aries or I don't know if it's Capricorn I think it could be Aries for some of you guys there is that energy um we also have letter K, <clears throat> all right. We also have a black cat for some of you guys, maybe you have. And um, and it says she believes she could, so she did, yes. What else do we have? Okay, I don't know what it is. It says, buena suerte. This is cute, it's an elephant. And uh, what else do we have? I feel I like can't financially fulfill you, letter N, letter B. I feel like, you know, whatever financial difficulties that they have been going through, I feel like they are overcoming that. They are becoming successful. Um, yeah, there's money coming, okay? There's a bag of money. So I feel like, you know, anybody here that they had kind of like financial issues, there's money coming. There's a bag of money. And I feel like if it's them, they're gonna be receiving it pretty soon. They're gonna get a lot of success. All right. Okay, let's get a little bit more for you guys. Okay, what else? We also have Leo. Yeah, and Leo coming. You have US, especially New York, but then it could be any state. We also have the sun, which is Leo energy again, Mars. Okay, Aries. Okay, Aries energy is also coming. All right, and we also have everything that um, we used to know crashed into the unknown, to the great unknown. I'm still holding on to you, so they still are holding on to you guys. It also says, heart chakra is opening up to divine love. I'm feeling so much love for you. My heart is healed and I'm ready for us. All right, and it also says, even though I might have pretended that there's someone else, it's not. I want you to know that there's no one else in my heart but you. That's what they want to say. And we also have, I want you. And it also says, I'm transforming, it's painful. Yeah, I feel like um, it has something to do with that Kundalini awakening that they are going through right now. And um, we also have um, Leo again. Oh my goodness, a lot of Leo energy coming very strongly for you guys all right i think this is it for you my lovely um okay we also have the road travel i had to say that but um i feel like this is it for you my lovely pisces okay so i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading i'm sending all my pisces so much love until next time or if you are joining the membership site i'll see you guys th there lots of love